I've built a few Gauge 1 live steam locomotives so far. This is the next one I'm going to build and it's going to be scratch built and it's going to be live steam and I hope you find the series of following videos interesting to watch. Hello and welcome to part 10 of the Gauge 1 GWR Prairie Tank Scratch Build. Um, you remember we left off the previous, the last episode by saying now that we're going to get these uh, slides and rods to the right length. Well the first thing I've done now is I've taken off the cylinder cover and we just really want to determine where the piston, how far the piston comes to, to serve that distance of the piston. Now the piston needs to come just a little bit short of the end of here, maybe I know a 32nd of an inch, maybe just over, but it doesn't need to hit doesn't need to hit straight on the edge, doesn't need to hit the the full distance, but it needs to fall just short of the the end of the cylinder. So that's about more or less the length, the maximum length it's going to be that way. So I can start to fix that and fix the crank on the end of here and then turning the wheels with the the con rods on and be able to determine how far that is, how far that's got to go down. I can see now straight away that that's still probably quite a bit too long. It's probably a good quarter of an inch to come off. But what I shall do now is just open out this hole that's in here. This is only a temporary hole, not quite the right diameter. I'll now open this out to the right width and the right depth of where it needs to be. To fit the the conrod, fit this conrod to the crosshead, a couple of things I've got to do first. I don't know whether the camera can actually see that. I made a little bush to go in there and a little, a little belt to go through there. So that's going to be a little force fit into there now, which is what I'm just going to do is to just squeeze that in. Just gently pop that in. There's now a little bush in there. And the little bolt I've made, got a little shoulder on there with a little thread. And that is going to go through there like that. Lovely, just like that, through there. And onto there. That will fit through. I'm going to have a little nut on this side just to anchor everything into position. Not too sure that showed up very well. But what we've got is I've made a little bolt like this where the Texican there and that's got a little APA thread on that bolt goes through the brass bush that we've made that bolt goes through there and this bush fits into the conrod and then the whole thing fits into the crosshead like that. So that's just what we've done there. I'm just complete that process now. Well there we are now with the crosshead fixed on the conrod. So now I can go ahead now and determine the length what the of what the uh, piston rod has to be. So that's what I should also do for the other uh, crosshead as well. 
Alright, here we are with the cylinder now and the crosshead guides. You can see now I've uh, done a little bit of filing on these and I've got that as a nice slide fit. I've done it on both of them. Just slide that back and forwards there. And what I've also done, obviously now putting this in, I've now determined the length. So you can see now where that goes to, where the piston goes to in the end of the cylinder. Give a little shove there, like that. It doesn't go quite to the end, as that leaves a little bit of room for steam to come in through that little port there. But that's the main thing, say we've got this now to the right length. Pistons and the, the guide valves done now. Um, there's one little detail, more one little more detail that needs to be taken care of. And again, this is where we'll have to do some little bit of creativity. Um, on the drawings, there is no indication of them actually being shown whatsoever. Uh, again, this drawing, these drawings I've got are very, very crude in some areas, and they don't really cover this at all. But what it is, it's a little bracket that fits on the slide rods just to support the bracket there. So my drawings show no reference to it all, or at all. All they do is they just show a line on the plan view. There's no details of it, no sizes or anything. This is what I'm talking about. It's something that's going to look a little bit like, let's get this the right way around. It's something look a little bit like the shape of a G. And on these particular locomotives, it fits outside of the slide guides. It fits outside and it sits something like that. So I'm really just going to make a, a trial and error version of this. But they sit about there in the middle. Like that. So I've just made a little bit of a plastic, plastic shape to start me off and I shall develop it from there. That's our next little job. I say the drawings I've got, absolutely no mention of this whatsoever. So this is where you have to uh, use a little bit of uh, creati creativity and work out what the thing looks like. So that's my next little job. And what I've done is just started hacking out a piece of, a piece of material that will do for what we're looking for and I should just scribe this out and proceed to get the basic shape ready. Okay, that's the start of it just come in to take shape now and see what we're starting to get is that shape there all right that's the basic slide bracket uh, finish for now and that's as far as we're going to go for now and show you where this fits on this is for the for the right hand side so that just fits on there as you can see um, that's just another part that we'll be using a little bit later on what you tend to find at this stage of the build you seem to spend most of your time making little parts and then putting them in a drawer for uh, later use and that will be the case with these we'll see these later on in the build when they come out for the assembly I've also taken the opportunity while I've got these um, frames in two halves I've added the the holes in here for the cylinder this is the this is the inlets for the steam and this is the exhaust so I took the opportunity while these were separated 
to uh, drill these holes as well. 